This is the story about shoes before the store. And now, let's read the book and see it does. We all use shoes. We wear shoes every day, and we have different shoes for different reasons. We play in our tennis shoes, we put on dress shoes for holidays, we bring sandals to the beach, and we wear boots to play in the snow. Some people even rent shoes for weddings. We want our shoes to feel comfortable. They keep our feet safe for sharp things like glass, and they keep our toes warm. We want our shoes to look nice too. Do you have a favorite pair of shoes? What kind are they? What do they look like? All shoes have the same basic parts. The top is the upper. It covers your foot and wraps around the sides. Your foot goes beneath the upper. It rests on the insole. There is also a sole. The sole is the very bottom of the shoe. It is the part of the shoe that leaves footprints. Many shoes have laces or strings to tie together. If they do, they also have a tongue. This is the flap at the top. Have you thought about how shoes are made? There are many steps. Shoes are made for many things. Some shoes might have rubber, cloth, plastic, and even wood. Many shoes also use leather. This is made out of animal skin. The most common skin use is from a cow. Making leather from a ranch. Cows are sent to the place where they are butchered. Workers cut up a cow's meat. Its skin is also cut away. The skin is sent in a tannery. This is a factory where leather is made. Workers treat the skin with special chemicals. They make the hair full, fall off the skin. Then workers put the skin in a kind of salt. This turns the skin into leather. Workers dye the leather brown. They also add more chemicals to the leather. This makes it stronger. Then the leather is shipped to the shoe factory. At the shoe factory, for many people, the way a shoe looks it just as important as how it fits. That is why shoes are designed by artists. These artists sketch ideas for how the shoes will look. This is a design. They might draw dozens of different ideas before a design is chosen. The final design it is sent to the clicking department. The design is drawn again. This time, it is drawn on a mold shaped like a foot. It shows workers what your finished shoe will look like. People's feet are different sizes, so shoes need to be designed in different sizes too. For this reason, the mold can be stretched apart and put together. It is used to design different sizes of shoes. Workers first make the top of each shoe. This is the upper. A clicking operative does this step. This worker uses a pattern to cut leather by hand. After the pieces are cut, workers send them through a splitting machine. This machine shaves off a layer from the leather. All of the pieces of the leather are now the same thickness. Next, workers use the skiving machine. It cuts the leather's edges. It becomes thin. The thin edges are easier to saw together. I, I mean, sew together. The leather next goes to the closing department. The pieces of the upper are ready to be put together. The first pieces are, are sewn on a flat machine. The upper becomes curved and does not lie flat. It starts to look like a shoe. Workers now switch to a post machine. They finish sewing the upper. Another worker hammers the stitches to smooth them and to flatten them. Then a worker glues leather strips around the upper's edges. The strips cover the upper's open sides. Last, the eyelets are added. These are the holes for shoelaces. Getting into shape. 
Next, it is the lasting department's turn. Workers put a soft lining inside the uppers. Each upper goes around a plastic mold in the shape of the foot. It is called a last. The last keeps the upper in the shape of the shoe where the bottom is put together. The bottom begins with the insole. The insole is glued to the upper's lining. Workers put the shoe in another machine. It pulls the leather to make it straight. It takes out the wrinkles, too. The machine wraps the edges of the upper beneath the insole. Then it glues the pieces to there. A worker grinds the bottom of the shoe on the machine until it is flat. Then the entire bottom part is coated with glue. Workers made the sole of the shoe for leather, plastic, rubber, or wood. They shape it with cutting tools or a mold. Workers pull hot liquid material into a mold. The mold is the hollow container that is shaped of the sole. When the liquid cools, it becomes hard. Then it is taken out of mold. Workers press the sole onto the glue at the bottom of the shoe. After about 10 minutes, the glue dries. It holds the sole in place. The shoes are now put together. Good looks. The shoes are not done yet, though. The next stop is the finishing department. Workers trim the soles to make them smooth and even. They apply stains to color the shoes. They polish the shoes. This makes the shoes look clean and new. The shoelaces are laced in the eyelets. Then workers glue tags and labels inside the shoes. The finished shoes are tested. Some tests are done by people. Other tests are done by machines. The tests make sure the shoes have been made the right way. Next, each pair of shoes is put into the box. They are bundled with other boxes and wrapped in plastic for shipping. Now they can be loaded onto trucks and shipped to shoe stores. Onto your feet! Shoes arrive at sports stores, department stores, and shoe stores. Some stores put all the boxes out. They set them together by style and size. Other stores put out just one pair. Then a store worker finds your size and helps you try on the shoes. People can also buy shoes on the internet. They find their size and the style they like. Then the shoes are sent right to their homes. What kind of shoes do you like best? Are blue flats or red sneakers your style? You can pick shoes with stripes or check your designs on them too. Be sure to try them on though. You want them to feel just right. They should not be too tight or too loose. Do you find the right fit? Good. Enjoy your new shoes. The end.